Boom. What's up, y'all? All right, so I'm going to talk about how I was able I drink a gallon of water every day. Actually, I'm up to a gallon and a half. Yeah, I made it. I can't believe it. You know, actually, it's my mama's fault. My mother wouldn't let us have anything but water when we were growing up. I hated that. Like child abuse. Mama get on my nerves. But I thank her now. Thank you, Mom. We only had pop on the holidays. You, you have one can of pop on the 4th of July. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> and the 4th of July was the only day. <laughs> Holiday, we got to have some pop. Soda if you live in Minnesota. But anyways, yeah, that was the only day. Like, this is a stupid rule. Who made this? Anyways, my mama did. It must have been a bunch of mamas that got together and made it up because it's kids all across America that had the same rule I did. But, amen, it's contributed to my water habit today. Okay, so how do I drink all the water I drink every day? All right, well, first of all, I liked water. I drank water. I drank about mm, five to six bottled waters a day. I kind of, kind of automatically did that a little bit. If you don't like water, nobody cares. <laughs> drink it anyways. Okay. You do a lot of things you don't want to do. And I'm like, I don't really like water. That is not a reason not to drink water. What is wrong with y'all? I don't hang on. 65% of your body is made up of water. You got to drink it. No matter if you like it, you can learn to like it. You can. I've learned to like it quite a bit. Now, I'm going to tell you, I only wanted five or six bottles. I didn't want a whole gallon and a half of water. I ain't going to even sit up here and tell no tales, okay? But, you know, the more you do something, the more you start to get into it. So, start talking about you don't like water. Your, your health and fitness is dependent on water. Water, tell me, I'm going to be in shape, girl. I'm going to have a six-pack. No, you're not that six-pack under that... Water you're not drinking. Yep, that's where the six pack is. I'm gonna tell you something. When I start drink, I upped my water game. I do not bloat. Even when it's that time of month. I don't bloat at all. Uh you're very regular. You should be having a bowel movement about three times a day. Yep. Yep, I said it. And it should be soft. So yep. Your urine should run clear. When you go to the bathroom. Your urine should look just like the toilet bowl water. If it doesn't, you're not drinking enough water, boo. Y'all get on that water. All right. So let's talk about how, how I got there first. Okay. So I was already drinking like, I would keep this around me, just, just water, you know. So I keep the water around me. But I only had so many, you know, because I wasn't trying to do all that. Anybody got time to go to the bathroom all the times? But guess what? I did it anyway. So I was going to the bathroom. I'll tell you something I didn't know was going to happen. Your body gets used to drinking all the water and it tapers off and you start going to the bathroom less. And that's how you know your body has gotten used to this new input of water. All right. I keep three or four of these bottles of water just like this next to my bed. I always have this many waters next to my bed. <laughs> I have so many waters on my nightstand. <laughs> Brian is like, Joy, can I get one of those waters? I have like the whole 24 pack <laughs> next to my bed. I not only have this, yep, I have my gallon container <laughs> all next to the bed. No, I do not use the bathroom all night. My body is used to it, but I build myself up. So y'all start small. You can't eat an elephant at one time. Just start small. Just start small. If you already drink two of these a day, go to three. And then the next week, say, I'm going to go to four. And then the next week, say, I'm going to go to five of these. Okay, so it takes uh, roughly, I want to say eight of these bottles. I'm going to calculate that out again later. But I think it's, it's either eight or nine of these 16-ounce water bottles to get in a gallon. All right, so, um, you know, do what you got to do. Don't you be talking about, well, I drink coffee and that got water in it. So does mud. But you don't drink that. What what are you talking about? What are you talking? I drink Pepsi and I got water. What what what? Okay. All right. So what I did was I drank that. But when I started trying to get to my gallon game, I went and bought this gallon, right? At Walmart. It looks like a pitcher you put Kool-Aid in. Okay, so I filled it up to the gallon and I would just drink it. Just sip it all day long. All right. 
Now, the nighttime hasn't even begun yet, and, and my half a gallon, my gallon is almost gone. I'm going to refill it, and that's how I get to my gallon and a half. All right, so why did I start drinking all this water? Well, one of the things was I was trying to take my health to a, a new level, and I started seeing some dramatic changes in my body when I started increasing my water intake. So I increased my water intake, and I told you the bloating went down. It makes your skin elastic. It, it gives life to your skin. Don't even waste your time buying all these hydration creams if you don't hydrate in the, from the inside out. It's really water. Water will hydrate your skin from the inside out. Your skin, your face, your hair, every organ and cell in your body needs water. So you really want to get into like water. It's, it's the life of everything. Girl, you know, my kids not going to like me either. They don't right now because I have nothing in this house but uh, water and milk. And that's just for their cereal. Because when I bought the daggone juice, they kept drinking just juice all day. Just juice, juice, juice. Juice. Juice got a whole bunch of sugar. Yeah, some water. It's a little bit of water in there and everything else. I was like, mm-mm, they gonna keep drinking all this juice. Guess what I'm gonna do? Y'all don't have no juice. So they be like, don't we have something else to drink in this house? <laughs> Besides water? Nope. Mm-mm. Because you don't have no self-control. So till you get some, I'm gonna be self-controlled. Till that fruit of the spirit manifests a little bit more in your life, I'm gonna be that for you because juice is not where it's at. All that juice. Okay, so I keep that. I rarely drink anything else outside of water. I'm going to tell you something else. Water seriously curbs your appetite. A lot of the reason you may be overeating is because you're dehydrated. Yep. You drink a lot of water, you stop eating a whole lot of foods you don't need. And you automatically cut calories because water was what you needed anyway. Um, so that'll work. Other thing I wanted to tell you is if you want to start losing weight, you want your abs to stop bloating, you want to stop having a lot of digestive tract problems, start with water, not medicine, not pharmaceuticals. You know, pharmaceuticals are just meant, you know, to, to calm symptoms. They don't heal nothing. But water, water has the power to heal. Hallelujah. Most of what you need is in your cabinets. Uh, so y'all drink this water. Tell yourself, I know we don't like water, but we're going to do it anyway. Like I said in the other video, let your actions follow. Let your feelings follow your actions and, um, you know, you'll go from there. So hopefully you guys can just start doing this step by step. I know some people even drink, they use a straw to drink their water because it makes it easier to like drink it. And then some people put the like the little labels Well, they're do. I need to drink this much water by eight, this much water by 12, this much water by, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let me go the right way. This much water by eight, this much water by uh, 12, this much water by three, and this much, you know, all the rest before I go to bed. So some people will label where their water should be to keep them on track. But whatever you got to do to keep yourself accountable, I'm telling you, and especially if you get serious about your, your exercise game and your health game, your water game got to go up. All right? So that's how I drink a gallon and a half of water.